We have returned. All right. Welcome back. Uh, da -da Time oh. to continue. Blake? I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? By Blake? I saw him arrive earlier. Blake? He's here somewhere. Thanks. Uh, I'm Nam and Jane. I'm looking for Black. Nice. Just walk right through the police tape. Uh, right through it, man. All right. Oh no, there's been an emergency. Da -na -na. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. What's like high tech looking glasses? And my grabbing glove. Video memo recording. Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden. Nam and Jaden. October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.48 a.m. R1? What was I supposed to do with R1? What? Oh, R1 lets you scan the area with the glasses on for clues. Oh, also no, in reference. In reference to chat, where they said the sequel to Akiba's Trip is Undead and Undressed, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but Undead and Undressed is the one you guys already made me buy, so... If that's the sequel, you made me buy the second one. Jaden is just a character from Deadly Premonition, niche joke number two. Deadly Premonition isn't that niche of a joke for people who care about Heavy Rain. Which I would presume is everyone here except for me, Kimmy. Because she's never played it. Look at all those clues. I'm related to the investigation. Let's see what's going on over here. Nothing. A lot over here in this. Place. My darn future vision. Oh. We like trip in the water or something? Something like that. You can just keep dropping all the ones as much as you want. Oh, there's some stuff. Harry Connor, traces of blood detected on the fence behind the More of a Beyond Two Souls kind of guy. I, I'll probably have Kimmy play Beyond Two Souls at some point, but I actually think it's the worst one just because it's. I, th I find it really boring. At least Heavy Rain to me is comedically bad. Kimmy might think Heavy Rain's good, but I don't know. I like it so far. Alright. See, Kimmy's much more optimistic than me. That's why I'm not sitting here going like, Heavy Rain's worse. I hate it so much. Because Kimmy can just have her own opinion. And then when it's over, I'll be like, wow, I hated that. <laughs> Oof! You expect it, my dude. Can I take it slow? Are you a wimp? Oh, it's one of those you gotta hold the buttons. Oh, you're hold. You're pressing it. Ah, you're gonna break Nam and Jaden's leg on the railroad tracks. Good. Don't kill him! I'll try not to. You kill Nam and Jaden, our friendship's over. Isn't Beyond Two Souls co op? Oh, you're right, it is. Indigo Prophecy is the worst. Ironically, I've never sat through Indigo Prophecy, so you're probably right. I forgot Beyond Two Souls was co op. We're definitely playing Beyond Two Souls at some point. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to like, scan my area again, but it wouldn't nah. let me. No, nah, we're in quick time within the city now. I'm not even messing him up and he's already fallen. That's just how it is. Some, listen, kid. Sometimes things happen and that they're just going to happen even if we don't want them to. Shit, man, right. Ah! Dude. Did I fall all the way to the bottom? I okay. was kind of hoping he would because it would be really funny. I would have been so mad. <laughs> Especially because right. I think you have to do this, so it would be really funny if every time you messed up, he was like, ah! It's not... R2? Oh, my god. I'd definitely do an R1. Two Souls has the most potential, but damn, the game went bananas and down the drain. Now his suit is super dirty. Yeah, Kimmy, look at what you've I done know. to Nam and Jaden's suit. You can get over it. We need to see where it's Dude. at. Careful, don't get hit by a fucking car. Make sure you look both ways. Hmm, footprints. Had to come investigate up here. There's a good chance that they ever kill us. Object memorized. Also, is the volume good for everyone now that I turned it up earlier? 
I know sometimes it's hard to tell. Oh, dude, someone skeeted right off over the guardrail and died. Oh, shoot, man. Rest in pepperoni. Jaden is Connor before he became a robot. Uh, I the on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. But maybe the killer's car. Hell yeah, it is, man. Look at that, we're gonna figure out the origami killer in like the third chapter of the game. I can hear the heavy rain, so yes, don't make him pull a Jason. Alright, no extra clues. Alright. Time to belly flop down the mud trail. Wait, what am I doing? Go those back on. Why do I keep getting that off? option? Why did you take them off? <laughs> maybe you just don't want them off. Maybe, maybe you're just like, I, I, I don't want you no more. Let's I'm not in Jaden. I can do this on my own. Thank you. Going back down. Do I get to slide down? Belly slide. Belly slide. Belly slide. I look at the clue again. Alright, go back up. He just Good tasted him. No he just licked his glove right now. <laughs> <laughs> Best way to know what it is is to lick it. <laughs> that is a terrible advice, kids. Don't follow that. Oh, shit. Yeah, if you fucked it up, does he crawl his way back up to the top because you did it wrong? I wonder. Dance. Look at those dance feet. Uh... No, we're gonna go down. Climb all the way back up. Oh wait, I forgot something up there. Whoop. I'm pretty good at remembering where these buttons are. Yeah, see, you're learning. You're, 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 that, that tutorial helped you out. It's like until dawn. Four, four, and seven years ago. <laughs> four okay. score. Oh, there's a clue. Ah yes, it appears the killer Very ran funny. this way to escape and was promptly hit by a train. Case closed. Hemo Goblin. What is this? I think it's calling. Some orchid pollen. The oh. concentration of pollen in the air You're is right, man. decreasing because of the rain. But it gets high. I've also gone through the game three times. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. That All new right. game from the creators of Until Dawn looked interesting. They actually made another game that was like a cop game where every it, you're supposed to play with a bunch of people and everyone has to decide together what the act choices are. He's over at Dare. Thanks. Thanks, man. He's the only dude who isn't the same cop as the rest of us. Scan the area. I think the oh, train is over the here. origami killer. Obviously, it's the train. It's the clown driving the train like the Bye Bye Man. It's gotta be wild like that, I swear. Do you remember when we went to go see the Bye Bye Man? Uh-oh. <laughs> you don't? You just purged it from your memory? Pretty much. I don't barely remember what it was about. Dude, oh, honestly, smart. Carter, Blake. I keep asking, but like... Keep asking. I'm just trying to you, look for the area. Yeah. You've all given me the same answer. I know. It's nice that they all know who Blake is. Yeah. Well, he's the lieutenant. <laughs> Alright. Let's look here. Look at skeleton. Harry comment. Sample of no interest. It comes to one of the policemen present on the wasteland. God, what a reckless piece of shit. There's just like a ton of dudes walking all over a I can never scene. tell which direction I'm supposed to be going in here. Leave in there. At, follow the dude who's walking with the flashlight. Not that dude, the other dude. There, there he is. Excuse me, sir, and you know where Blake is. I'm Nam and Jaden. It's like, Nam why did David Cage decide out of nowhere to add sci fi's in this game? Uh, because Nam and Jaden is the future, and the future is now. I want to collect all my clues before I talk to this dude. Harry, comment, sample of no interest. Comes to one of the policemen present on the waist. You know, these fucking policemen just leaving their DNA all over the place. I know. Absolutely okay. unprofessional. Start wrapping your feet in baggies, everyone. Let's get a hold on ourselves here. Let's go, Blake. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. 
Okay, but what about game exchange? You got one of those? I can't hear myself, thank you. Right away, Lieutenant. How the fuck can they not catch a guy who's put origami paper the few places that probably have it? No, 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 don't worry about it. Facts! Facts. What happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. He wants you to follow him. I don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killed. Origami? Did you just say that? Origami killed! Wait, okay, so... Witness... Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Yeah, of course we're in the blind district of Boston. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Uh... Cause? Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. Like the others. Uh, precautionary. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You admit you just walk right through that police officer. Obviously you could care less about it. Don't worry, my cops won't destroy anything. They're all ghost cops. No, no of course not. That's... Not what I meant. They are leaving DNA everywhere, though. I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Alright, and leads. Where, what are leads? Do you have any leads? My men are going over to see with a fine tooth comb. The killer left anything behind. We'll find it. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. I thought he didn't have a right hand for a, a second later. there. Back at the office. Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. I think you hey, may Jay, have just done most of it. Come and see around. me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. You well, sure aren't treating me like it. I don't know. He seemed he gave you all the info. I, I didn't think you did anything wrong. He sneaky. I had more questions. Well, there is a dead child here. I had more. We're trying to solve the same team, man. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to solve this too. I think it's because it's an FBI agent, you know? Yeah. Coffee? I think the dude's just a hard it's ass because he's a lieutenant. Drinking there. There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Why, thank you. Thank you, man. Some coffee. I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm obsessed with coffee, so every time coffee's available, I'm taking some. <laughs> On the same team. That's it. He's the killer. <laughs> That's it. What if they are on the same team? You're both the killers. The perfect getaway. Pretty chilly. Pretty chilly, huh? Alright. Oh, assholes. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. They're all being such jerks, man. <laughs> when did they find the body? Excuse me, but... Well, I think I would exactly? like some murder I'm coffee Jay to wake me up. FBI? If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. God! Right. Well, All these cops are awful. No bonuses for any of you, then. Very Sam, Let me guess. Cop DNA? Yep, cop DNA. Keeps happening, man. These people are awful. It seems to be a little bit of fecal matter left here from all these shit-stained police officers wandering around. And he's trying to be like, oh, our officers don't have a habit of trampling. I'm, I'm over sorry. here like, I'm sorry, I've ran into five different stock, like, DNA spats. I'm sorry that Jaden looks like an asshole. Jaden has done absolutely nothing wrong. Yeah, he's just asking questions. He doesn't which is even his job. look like you're just you're just jealous. You're just an asshole police officer. Come on, Blake, where are you at? There, there, there you are. Let me go investigate with you real quick. I think I already looked at this one, but I'll because I'm pretty confident it's a uh, it's another police officer's droppings. Yeah, it won't little, let me look at it, so I must have already looked at it. A little police urine. All right, what's up, Blake? Blood, body, train, like... His glasses blood, scream dude. asshole. His glasses scream the evidence. Because I'm tired. 
Blake's getting ready for Claw Tower. Blood. Why the hell is there blood here? Holy. Oh, wait, it'll do body first. The body must be under the tarp near the lights. Uh, Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Yeah, we can tell. We know. I don't know where the tarp is, but oh, like, I said the box. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. Excuse me, Nama Jane, you're saying that right next to me. Oh, he's on the phone. I can't talk to him. He asked me to look around. Let me know if I find anything. Well, and the I'll body's watch. under that tarp right there. Oh, is it? I think so. He said the body was probably under a tarp. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. You recall the voice acting being better? I'm sorry to say you were wrong. This one? An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Less than 12 hours. This one? It's in his pocket. Oh, it's origami! A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Plot twist! It's the dead. Is that really a plot twist when we just saw him hold the origami figure before it cut to Scott Shelby? Yeah, I guess not. But I think that's probably and why it's like not a see. plot twist. Because it's like, it's too easy, you know? Yeah, but then why would he have the origami the figure? The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. Dude, imagine being she named Jeremy Bowles. His face is covered with mud. I thought he was like checking his pulse for a second. <laughs> Wait a minute, these idiots didn't even check to make sure he was so dead. Blood was. The blood is identical to that on the fence. Oh. So now we know it's the. We know it. He's he's the origami killer. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. So. I think you're probably right. Nope, he's walking around. Blake, I have something important to tell you. I found a body under that tarp over there. Stain leave. I think I got all the clues. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. I wanted to tell you how your cops are awful, but whatever. Uh, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. Impressive. Seems the only traces the killer left are those he intended to leave. He knew exactly what he was doing. Didn't right the killer the literally leave car tank. tracks up on top of the bridge? Yeah, I don't think he cares about that, though. It might also be a diversion for the... Okay, fact but that's not what trains. Nam and Jane just said. You're right. But he also said that he left what he wanted to leave. Yeah, but how would he know he left? wanted the to leave the trail leads to this bridge. The killer must have come down here with the body. Oh my god. To your car. There we go. Time to leave! Gotta go boom boom fast. Now you have to do the mini game. You have to do quick time events to drive your car. I need a seatbelt. No! <laughs> Sorry, Naman Jaden is a cool and collected, ruthless FBI agent who doesn't abide by the law. He doesn't wear his seatbelt. I know. How dumb. <laughs> yeah, what an idiot. Don't be like Norman Jaden, everyone. More like Normie Jaden. Oh, alright. Let's get out of here. You gotta go room room fast. Which is why you should wear your seatbelt! Don't Remember, everyone, if you learn anything about heavy rain, it's don't smoke and wear your seatbelt. <laughs> and look both ways before crossing the street. <laughs> and pick up your fucking apple cores off the couch. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I wasn't thinking about, like, the comma in whatever that phrase. <laughs> don't so smoke like, and wear... Listen, when I... Wear your, don't smoke and wear your seatbelt. When you I can't, said it, I can't smoke it while you even when it. I Even when I was saying it, I kind of thought about it, too. Bat, insect, butterfly. I think it's a bat. 
pretty the convinced. Fact. What is this? Uh, I don't know. Rats? <laughs> vroom, vroom, beep, beep. A rat. A rat's head. Blade's face. It's definitely crab. A crab. Dead. For sure. It's a goat. Look at this sight. Death. Death. Hmm, that's really interesting. Why do I have to repeat that? So you're really insisting on continuing on with this game, huh? Yes. Da -da. Why don't you tell me what your biggest fears are? Obviously losing myself. What do you, what do you think about this Who character, Mike? Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. This dude sounds like he doesn't have teeth either. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. <laughs> you gonna tell me I'm crazy here? Easy, but you've gotta stop I'm telling you you're the origami killer. You're not responsible for what happened. Yeah, I'm, no I'm not. That kid walked off on his own. Jason is dead. <laughs> He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. If you would have, like, it basically strapped him to yourself. You literally you jumped in front of the car to save him. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. Also, hey, I oh, guess this sure. is a perfect example of why people don't feel bad when they put leashes on their kids at the mall. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, like, How oh, is that what you took from this? Well, I used to be. It's just, I was thinking about those little backpacks it's that they, like, have that with the straps. The harnesses? The kids. Yeah, and then, like, it's like they, you, you know, it's basically a leash for your kid. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea, considering your kid just died because um, you didn't have one. No longer one. And he decided to wander off Jason his own. gets hit by a car. Kimmy, well, Sean, you get a leash now. And he thought he was a big kid. Son, Why the fuck are you in a villain's final castle? <laughs> because this therapist is the origami Sean's killer. And he's manipulating Ethan to make him think he's the origami killer. Is dun, there dun, something dun. else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? <laughs> like oh, maybe being the origami killer? Schizophrenia, blackouts. Or nothing. Mm. No. No. I think I waited too long. I think I definitely was blackouts. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. I'll get you to confess to being the origami killer one lucky, of these Ethan. days. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. Yeah, like getting hit by the car. Why does he have a giant sign that says ego in the background? It's just so sad if he's the origami killer because <laughs> it seems like he's been trying to, like... Wow, we just talked over how Ethan said he wanted to die. Yeah, we'll get over it. Life's hard. Yeah, a lot of people want to die. I do. I do. All the time. 0.986 inches, but it's not even raining anymore, and it's a bright and sunshiny right. day. Hunger. Let's see about this. Hungry play school problem. Do you want to eat something? <laughs> you got any apple cores? Any problems? Is something the matter, Sean? I miss my bird. No, I'm alright. No, you're not. You hate me. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Wait, why was he late? Like, how, how did you make him late? What did you do? Nothing? I let him stay up too late. With the other kids? He didn't go to bed till like 10. I feel like well, then you as the dad should wake him up! Yeah, I know I should. I Is this where he gets kidnapped? Sean, don't leave your kid. I recall when this game came out, David Cage said you can figure out the killer by hidden clues. Well, I'm not going to comment no, on that because spoilers. Really. I can never make him come back. Can I give it a try? Dude, honestly, me neither. Dude, eat it in the street. Honestly. Oh. And it never came back. Comes back and impales the kid. <laughs> ah. I had to look down to figure out where X was and I got hit. I'd be able to improve my catch. Dude, he was not impressed at all. No, he was not. 
He was. This wasn't even a charming moment where he laughs at his right, dad getting smacked again? with a boomerang. He's just like, again. wow, my dad's pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, we can. We took you two tries. Are we gonna keep playing with the boomerang? <laughs> yeah. All Listen, right. he got a little excited. What? I seem to remember I was better than that. Oh, Dad, that's strike number two. There was no reason for it to be off. That's strike number two. All right, and it doesn't come back. Whoa, you did it, Dad! Dude, I did it like two tries ago. I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now you gotta throw it straight and a little to the right. So, wait, what am I doing? Holding up? Yeah, you're helping right. him throw the boomerang. Alright. Now, throw it! I only, I want to be 100% with you, I don't remember ever seeing this cutscene in the three times I've gone through the game. I don't remember anyone ever grabbing the boomerang. I did it, I did it Dad! Good oh, job. nice! Huh? Holy shit, that, that was bonding fun. time. Okay. I'm glad I chose to do it. Now we can go home and have a happy ending. Before you get kidnapped. Woo, oh, I did it! I threw the boomerang! Heck yeah! I know how to throw a boomerang. Do it better than me. He's really excited about that boomerang. Dude, yeah, I, pro I probably would it. too, to be honest. Learn a new thing. It's always fun to learn a new thing. Alright, see ya, Dad. I'm sitting back down. Fun time's over. Alright. What are, what are the options to do? Come on. Let's find some stuff. You can also Sit think down. by hitting your L2, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Mind powers activate. Activity. I'll find something else to do with it. Dad, that's what he'll like. He'll like things to do. Just walk all over that bench. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. Yeah, because you're a grown ass man. Yeah! Yay! He wants to play! His face did not match his excited yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is just a Magneto's origin on. story. Dude, you're about to launch him into the sky. Make me fly. Yeah! Dude, this has got to be hard on the knees. Am I supposed to let it load a certain amount or just do it on no, you just See, he's laughing. He's having a good time. He's fucking he's flying around. It's like me on Six Flags getting jaws. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know. It's like Dude, jumping. his nuts are going to slam into that handle. <laughs> Make it fly, Dad. You know it only goes to a certain yeah. level, right? What park just has a carousel, by the way? Let's play, kid. Merry go round. Faster. Fa oh, dude, this looks like shit. This looks real. You're gonna kill your kid on this one. Stay on it. I bet I can push you so fast you'll go barreling off it and hit the ground. Let's try, kid. Let's try. <laughs> Pulling him off to the bridge. I have a concussion from back when your <laughs> brother died. Let's give you one, too. So, like, did it never stop raining after Ghost Dad and now the dead son got hit by the car? I don't know, man. Go on, Dad. As fast as you can. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have smoked all those cigarettes. Drink all that <laughs> beer. Eating all that 30-second pizza. Dude, that was just so not fast. Oh, <laughs> but he's yeah. having a good time. Dude, he's, he looks like he's about to get sucked right off, though. He's gone so much that he can't stay on. Yo, I'm getting dizzy from that seesaw myself. What you mean, the face-off park is a carousel nation joke is number three. Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> this one's so cute. I'm okay, but I haven't, time. I, I haven't been kidnapped yet, Dad. We have to do more activities. Or we can just leave. I'm having so much fun. This fun can never end with my kid. You want to go play on the swing? Never. I'll push you. Okay. Yeah. 
playing with my son. I gotta do all the activities. Oh, it's holding. <laughs> yeah, if you mess it up, does he just like barrel down and hit you in the face? Yes. We. Come on, Dad. Higher. That's right. This dude wants to do a loop. He wants to flip all the way around. Child simulator. Pretend to be a child. Pretend to have a child. Yo, plot twist, this kid's the origami <laughs> killer. <laughs> it wasn't fair that my brother died back then, Dad. I wanted to be the one that <laughs> died. I wanted to be the one that every day you asked me how were you and I said I want to die and he got to die first and it isn't fair. It's not fair. Why wouldn't you let me die, father? 